Hey guys, welcome to this Linux course. So guys, we've seen the basic Linux commands which are needed to uh, start with Linux, any Linux distribution, those commands are the same. So right now we are going to see another command which is called echo and it is one of the most important commands which you have to know. So moving ahead. So first, what exactly is echo? Echo is used to display a line of text or a string by passing it as an argument. So now you can see this example over here, echo IntelliPy. It basically printed that over here. So again, you can see over here echo. So sorry for that. Again, you can see over here echo display text, display line of text. So this is what it does, displays a line of text. And there are some descriptions, uh, trailing new line. Uh, so these are some examples which we'll be uh, doing. So right now, just remember this. Uh, it is basically a command to display a line of text or string. So now there are some options. Uh, you can use these options while using echo. So echo and if you use a minus n, it gives you the output without a new line. It adds that particular, uh, sorry, it adds that particular option to the same line itself. So first, so let me clear this just a second, an option to, so I'll just make it huge so that it's clearly visible. Okay, so right now I've zoomed in. So guys, uh, I wanted to share echo. So echo, uh, hello. So you can see it has printed hello. So echo, hello world, how are you? It can also print a complete line. And then, so you, if you do this, hello minus n. So as I told you, it will not use a new line. It prints with the uh, command line itself. So this is one option of echo. Then another option is minus e. This will allow usage of back backslash escapes. So there are some backslash escapes. Uh, there is uh, b, there is n, t, b. So b removes the space between text and n prints the text in a new line. Then does a horizontal tab, does a vertical tab. So let us execute these one by one. So first, let me do this. So if I type hello slash, I'm using slash b. So I don't want space between these two uh, lines. But if I do this, it won't work because slash b is not escaped over here. Coming back here and also I've typed it in wrong. So even though if I've typed in the slash correctly, so again, you can see the slash is not there, but b has been added. So to escape this, you can use the option minus E, hello, B world. So I think I'm doing another mistake. So the thing is, I think we'll try with quotes. Yeah. So that's what, uh, slash B basically, again, I did not put in quotes. So it, uh, thought that that is again, a part of the string itself. So right now I've used minus E to escape the particular option that is, uh, backslash B. So now hello world in between that I used a slash B and it removed the space between hello world. Now one more thing is minus slash N slash N separates the words and prints them in separate lines. So let's say hello world. How, how are you? So you can see that hello world. How are you? So hello is in one line. And after that I have a new line world how is in one line then after that i have a new line then are you so this is one and then you have two most commonly used ones which are slash h and slash t so slash t does a uh, basically a horizontal tab slash uh, so you can see here slash t does a horizontal tab slash v does a vertical tab so going here slash v and now you can see that horizontal tab, it left in eight spaces or a tab between hello and world and horizontal vertical tab is basically a new line, but it will be on the same line, but it will be an, a line different. So let's see them with both. And now, now these are slash T's. Now let's see both of them with slash V's. And now you can see the difference. So here, when we did hello world are you here, we used a slash T and here we used a slash V, but right now I'm using in both the places I'm using slash V basically they'll be in the same position as the same line, but they will be a line apart. So this is how you use these options. So now I've also added some examples over here, the same kind of examples. How are you and uh, slash V slash T slash V all these examples. And one more thing I wanted to show is you can do this with echo. So now X I'm putting in a variable and I'm just giving it some random number. So now if I do a dollar X, you can print the variable. So this is one of the most useful uh, things about echo. 
I will again going back and you can do one more thing like if you do an ls you see all the subdirectories of that particular directory you can also do that with echo tar so you can see them but they will not be displayed in a colorful manner ls actually differentiates between directories and files but echo cannot do that it just prints what are the contents of that particular directory going back what are the examples yeah there is one more example for expression so let's say i have already entered the value for uh, x let me enter a value for y yeah so now echo dollar this is the format so now x and plus so let me try this if it works then it's fine yeah so it's 79 so it has added 23 and 56 so the problem is if you do this dollar x plus dollar y it will not print it it just prints the content of x separately and y separately but to do an arithmetic operation you will have to put dollar in the front and two parentheses and in between you will have to write in the arithmetic operation so let's say you want to subtract them then you can go ahead and do it like this so this is how you use the echo command and these are the basic examples of it so again we've done the hands-on for the echo command now guys let us me repeat so we've done the hands-on for echo command so we've done this session so let me meet you in the next session